for me, and again, everyone has to create their own own chigari. For me, I do it, I do a uchi when my uke is taking a step towards me. This is the time that I, I do a uchi. So is this, they're going to take a step towards me. Now, we're facing along this line, and I've picked this line for a reason. When I'm done with this throw, I expect his head to be facing that exit sign. Okay? So my, my kazushi is going to be to get him to take a big step in the direction that he's already thinking he's stepping. Okay? That's the kazushi here. Big step. Lift it. Okay? This, this, this arm is doing less, but it's also lifting up into him and lifting him into a big step. Okay? So he's going to take a big step. And once he's taking that big step, it's very difficult for him not to take that step. And all I'm going to do is make that step bigger, 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 bigger. Okay? So, big step that I just make a little bit too big. Now, big step again. If, when we practice all of our throw, all of our Foot sweep drills, our little toe never leaves the ground. The same with this one. The big toe doesn't leave the ground. If I lift up, I'm lifting him up onto that back foot and working against myself. If I lift up, he's able to defend against this with his hip. But if I keep my toe on the ground, there's nothing except a big step for him to take. So, it's not an easy move to get. This foot, if, you're, if this foot's at all turned out, you'll never get that hip around. So this foot has to be either straight or, if you can, a little bit pointed so that this hip can allow you to face the direction that your uke is going to be. So this is, again, a moving throw that I do as that step is coming forward. Give him a big pull, and then again, I actually also get nice and close to him with my chest. I lifted my toe up a little bit there, I can feel it. It's much better when you don't lift that toe. So again, you see where his head is facing, and you see where we're starting. Big step, sweep it out. As the uke, it's very difficult not to, not, not to take a natural step. Try your hardest, but don't fall for your tori. Make sure that your tori lifts you and forces you to take that big step. Judo, all the kazushis are up. Gravity is going to take them down. So you're going to wait for that foot to come up. And then as that foot's coming up, you're going to force that big step, and then your back foot's just going to make that big step a little bit bigger. And that's the way I do Ouchi, different than drop Ouchi or other Ouchi. So, uh, any questions about this? Let's give it five minutes and then we'll do some Tashiwaza.